In this video, we'll walk through the processor box replacement procedure and model set mode for Kaiser strength and functional power models. Tools and materials required are shown on screen. Before we begin, here's a brief overview of the components and how to access the processor box on all strength and functional machines. Processor boxes are programmed to work with a specific Kaiser machine model. All system information and workout data is sent from the processor box to the power display. Two D-size alkaline batteries power the unit. All replacement processor boxes must be configured to its machine. This is critical to proper function. This configuration, also known as model set mode, is performed at the processor box. Model number, including display units and altitude settings, are edited in model set mode. It's important to note, model set mode records the position of the cylinder to track its starting point. We'll cover more on that later in the model set mode procedure. In general, the processor box is located at the rear, base, or mounted under the upholstery pad on most machines for direct access. The runner has the processor box mounted under the front brace tube, concealed by a cover plate. Access by removing three Phillips screws to release the cover plate. The standing hip has its processor box mounted within the shroud. For easy access, release the plastic rivets along the sides, top, and rear using a rivet clip remover or small slotted screwdriver to remove the rear cover. On functional models, the processor box is enclosed within the body of the machine. Performance trainers use a size 3 Phillips screwdriver to remove the five screws along the display side of the machine to open the body. Functional trainers use a size 3 Phillips screwdriver to remove the eight screws of the back cover and a size 2 Phillips screwdriver to remove the two screws along the back of the top cover to open the body. Before servicing, be advised of the high-pressure air warning. Disconnect the air supply and release all air from the machine before servicing. Disconnect the machine's air line from the compressor or outlet. Then, press and hold the negative thumb button to release all air pressure from the machine until the hiss sound has stopped. With the negative thumb button still pressed, push and pull the exercise arm to release any residual air pressure from the system. Removal. With the air supply disconnected and all air pressure released from the machine, disconnect the air tubes and wires from the processor box. Your machine's processor box connections may vary slightly. In general, left side cylinder connections are marked blue. Right side are marked red. Single cylinder machines always connect to the left side. Note, the two thumb buttons are not marked. They are interchangeable and can each connect to either thumb button jack. Tie the thumb button wires together or mark the display wire with tape, as shown in the video, for quick identification and easy installation later in this procedure. Remove the processor box from the machine. Remove the thumb nut, pull off the processor box cover, and remove the batteries with sleeve to access the two mount screws and washers. Tool required, a number two Phillips screwdriver. Note, runner and functional models. Two nuts, two Phillips screws with washers secure the processor box to the mount location. Tools required, an eight millimeter socket with extension and ratchet and a number two Phillips screwdriver. Functional trainers have the processor box mounted in the same way. However, the display must be removed for clearance. Remove the two socket button head cap screws with washers 
using a 3 16 inch Allen wrench. Carefully fish out the wire and remove the display to access the mount hardware. Installation. Remove the thumb nut and remove the cover to open the replacement processor box. Remove the batteries and sleeve. Install the replacement processor box, same orientation as the original box, using the original hardware. Tip. For mount locations where space is tight, such as on the runner, connect before mounting the processor box for easy connection. If needed, replacement hardware is available through Kaiser Support and widely available at most hardware stores. Hardware is listed in the video description below. Here, we'll demonstrate on a functional trainer how concealed processor boxes are mounted. Mount in the same orientation as the original box using the original hardware. Performance trainer and runner models follow the same procedure. Again, mount in the same orientation as the original box using the original hardware. Reinstall the display by reversing the order of removal. Connect the air tubes and wires to the appropriate ports. Tip. For a tight air tube connection, twist the air tube counterclockwise before connection. This preloads the air tube to help drive the air fitting toward the connection point. Remember, left side cylinder connections are marked blue. The right side cylinder connections are marked red. Single cylinder machines always connect to the left side. The two thumb button wires are interchangeable and each can connect to either thumb button jack. Install the batteries with sleeve. Note, a self-test follows for about 15 seconds on the display and ends with zero at the upper left window. It is now time for model set mode. Connect the air supply to the machine and keep the processor box open for the model set mode procedure. As mentioned, processor boxes are programmed to work with a specific machine model. The model set mode procedure must be performed on replacement processor boxes. This is critical to proper equipment function. In addition to setting the model number, the display units and altitude settings can be edited in model set mode as needed. It's important to note, Model set mode records the position of the cylinder to track its starting point. Be sure exercise arms or cables rest firmly against the stops once air is added to the machine during the procedure. A300 leg press models set the exercise arms back against the frame stops. Model set mode. With the processor box open and air supply connected, pressurize the machine. Press the positive thumb button for 10 seconds to wake the machine and add the proper amount of air to the system. Enter model set mode. At the processor box, press and release both increase and decrease buttons. The model number will appear in the resistance window. Use the increase or decrease buttons to scroll and select the model number. Press and hold for fast scroll. To repeat model set mode at any time, Press the increase and decrease buttons to restart. Match the model number printed on the serial number decal. Once selected, wait 5 seconds, do not press any buttons to record and cycle to the next menu. Edit the display units. Options include pounds, kilograms, and newtons. Once your selection has been made, wait 5 seconds with no buttons pressed to record and cycle to the next menu. Edit the altitude in 100 foot increments. Altitude is used in resistance setting calculations. Factor in the height of significantly tall buildings and hills where your machine is located. Units are imperial regardless of the display unit settings. Please convert meters to feet. Default factory settings is 300 feet or altitude 03. Once your selection is made, wait 5 seconds to record and cycle to the next menu. Machine ID is for factory use only. And time and date is factory set. After the time and date menu, 
the system records the cylinder position and exits model set mode. Model set mode is now complete. Close the processor box before use. Note, the display will enter sleep mode after 60 seconds of no activity. As mentioned, to repeat model set mode at any time, press the increase and decrease buttons to restart. If an error 20 occurs, this indicates that the machine requires more air. Add air to the machine before attempting to restart the procedure. If the display goes to sleep, tap the positive thumb button to wake up and repeat the procedure. It is not necessary to add any more air to the machine. At this time, close any open machine. Performance trainer models route the air line along a notch at the base before closing the body to avoid pinching the air tube. Replace all original hardware to close the machine. Functional trainer models route the air line through the notch at the base of the back cover before closing the body to avoid pinching the air tube. Replace all original hardware to close the machine. Runner models ensure all wires and air tubes are tucked into the mount area before reinstalling the cover plate. And finally, on standing hip models, reinstall the rear cover with instructional placard using the plastic rivets. Insert the grommet into the hole first, then push in the pin to secure. Reinstall all plastic rivets at the rear and along the sides and top of the machine. As always, check your work before use. Review the procedure to ensure proper installation. Check air tubes and wires are properly connected. If an air leak is detected at the processor box, disconnect the air supply and remove all air pressure from the machine. Twist the air tube counterclockwise to preload before reconnecting to create an airtight fit. We hope that you found this walkthrough helpful. If you have any questions or to order replacement parts, visit kaiser.com forward slash support. And thanks for watching.